Let's take a look at the settings button in Cricut Design Space on your iPad. We're looking in the lower right corner. It's the middle button out of these three in the right. It looks like a little gear, it says settings. Click on that. So the first one is changing your units of measurement. You can switch between metric and imperial. So centimeters and inches. And when I click this, you can see that the grid changes and that's because the measurement is changing. The other thing is there's a grid setting in here. You can totally turn off that grid if you don't want to see those grid lines behind your design. I like having them because it gives me a good placement and arrangement and size estimate um, when I'm designing things. But if you don't want to see them, you can just turn them off. The next one is the smart guides. To use those, I have to show you some images that I have over here. So the smart guides, if you have it turned on, will help you to align things. So if I move this heart, when it lines up with the top heart, that little grid line pops on. Or what if I want it to be centered? See how that little guideline pops up? So if I wanted to center this, and then center this one. That's how I can use those smart guides. Now, if I go in there and turn those smart guides off, I can move this down and it looks about centered, but the other way I could do it was to grab all three of them and then under edit, I can go align and then align them all to the middle. So it's just giving you another option or another way to adjust your images and align your images. I hope that helped you to learn how to use your settings in Cricut Design Space for the iPad. Make sure to like my video and subscribe to my YouTube.